Introduction to Microscopy The microscope is an essential part of the microbiology lab. It is helpful to know all of the parts of the microscope prior to first use. There is a labeled diagram of the microscope in your lab manual on page 8. When handling the microscope, it is important to hold it by its handle and support the base with your free hand. Gently set the microscope down onto the table, unwind the cord, and plug it in. Make sure to keep the cord behind your workspace. After plugging in the microscope, you may turn it on. You should see a light come up through the stage. When placing a slide onto the stage of the microscope, you should use the slide clip. Pull back the clip, push the slide into place, and release the clip. This will hold your slide in place so you may move it around during observation. You are now ready to begin focusing the microscope. Position your slide so light is shining through the center of the slide containing your specimen. The first objective used is the low power objective or 4x objective for this microscope. With the 4x objective, use first the coarse focus to move the stage up so your specimen will be in focus. Here, the coarse focus knob is being used first. When using the microscope, you will want to record the total magnification of each image that you observe. Total magnification is equal to the magnification of the oculars on the microscope times the magnification of the objective being used. The image here was observed with a 4x objective through 10x oculars for a total magnification of 40x. After focusing with the 4x objective, turn the objective wheel to the 10x objective. At this point, focusing should be done with the fine focus knob. Most microscopes have the property of parfocal. With parfocal, the image is focused on one magnification, and then when switching to the next magnification, the image should remain somewhat in focus. Here is the same slide being observed with the 10x objective. This has a total magnification of 100x. Now you will switch to the 40x objective. Again, you should focus with the fine focus knob. This image is the same slide being observed with the 40x objective. This has a total magnification now of 400x. You are now ready to use oil immersion. When preparing for oil immersion, slide the objectives between the 40 and the 100 X. A small drop of oil should then be dispensed onto the slide. You may now drop the 100 X objective into place. Whatever type of immersion oil is available in your lab is fine. Notice here that the 100 X objective does not come into contact with the slide. And when using the 100 X objective, you will need to turn your light source to its brightest. This is the same slide observed before with the 100x objective for a total magnification of 1000x. Ocular lens paper and ocular lens cleaner should be used when cleaning up the microscope. To begin cleaning the microscope, lower the stage to the bottom and remove the slide that you were observing. Using tissue paper and ocular cleanser, you should first clean the slide of any oil residue that may be present on it. You should then discard of that tissue paper and obtain a clean one. Using the clean tissue paper, add a few drops of the lens cleaner to the tissue paper to clean the objectives. You should always clean the 40x objective first, just in case there was any oil on it. Be sure to dry the objective after cleaning it with lens cleaner. Flip the tissue over, add a few more drops of lens cleaner, and now move the objectives over so you can clean the oil immersion. 
the oil immersion lens should always be cleaned after every use. It is suggested that you clean the oil immersion lens in between each slide if you are observing more than one slide during the use of the microscope. And finally, using a third clean piece of ocular paper, you should just dry clean the 4x and 10x objective. Proper cleaning and handling of the microscope after each use is essential to the maintenance of the microscope and will add to its longevity in your lab. Poorly maintained microscopes are difficult to use. Once you have finished cleaning the microscope, make sure that the stage is in its lowest position, the objective is set to the 4x, and the microscope is turned off prior to unplugging it. The microscope should then be replaced in the storage cabinet. Microscopy is extremely important in microbiology, and the observation of bacteria would be impossible without it. Here, the 4x, 10x, 40x, and 100x objective are shown. Now shown is the calculation for the total magnification using each objective. Microscopy is an essential tool for all microbiologists, and by the end of your lab session this semester, you will be an expert at using the microscope.